and then now you're actually going to go into BSA and create some uh, events. So I'm going to get rid of this plot view because we don't really need to see that. And I'm going to scroll down to channel or to track 102. And track 102 is where we have our blue. So I'm going to create a event here. Zoom a little bit so you can see how that works. Okay, so I'm going to create an event by clicking and dragging to the right. And I get this nice blue bar. This blue bar represents an event. If I double click on it, I get this dialog box. And here you can see at start position is zero, stop position is zero. But zero is off and 255 in DMX is maximum. So I'm going to just type in 255 there. And if I press play, what we should see is the light. So I'm going to go over here and press play. The light should come on and get blue, 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 and bright blue. And there we go. So now, if I want to add green, what I'm going to do is draw an event for green. Let's start here in the middle of the blue and go out a little bit. And I'm going to have this go to 255. Okay. So what this means is as the timeline goes through here, you watch the timeline go across. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see the edge of the light. Okay. Hopefully you can see the timeline going across here. So I'm pressing play. That timeline is proceeding across and the blue light gets brighter. And now the green starts to come in. Blue is completely bright and now green is completely bright. Okay. So now let's do some red. And so I create a red event. Now I'll make that one 255. So it's going to go from off to completely bright. And we'll press play here. Blue. Here comes the green. And here comes the red. And that's the end of our event. Okay, so now um, what I can do with these events is I can make them shorter. So what I'm going to do is take this blue event here, and I get this double arrow. Let me zoom in here a little bit. I get this double arrow here, and I click, and it's a little bit hard to grab. There we go. And I'm going to drag it there. So I've shortened it so the blue gets very blue, and as it ends, the green comes on. And then on the red over here, well, let's go ahead and shorten this one to the, the green. I'm going to do the green down to there. And then let's shorten the red. Okay, so what we have here now is a blue bar, a green bar, and a red bar. And those, those will give us our um, blue off to fully blue, green off to fully green, red off to fully red. So, go here in the light. You can see blue, and here comes the red. And the shorter these bars are, the faster those events happen. So if I want, say, this blue to to fade uh, or, or to, to uh, brighten slowly, I make this event much longer. And so it spreads the zero to 255 all the way across here, and as it has the effect of getting brighter more slowly. One of the things that I like about VSA is the mirror and repeat function. And so what I'm going to do here is the right click and drag will allow you to, to select events. So I'm going to click and drag across all three of these events, and they're selected. Then I'm going to right click on any one of them and tell it to mirror and repeat. 
So these are all going from 0 to 255. When I mirror them, they're going to go from 255 back to 0. So they'll go from off to fully bright, and then from fully bright to off. So I select mirror and repeat, and get this little dialog box, and I'm going to tell it that um, it's going to and repeat one time and mirror to the right. It also allows me to set the number of frames in between so if I want a gap there I can set a particular gap. Um, I'm not going to do that, we're just going to repeat it one time and when I select that what you see is the opposite of uh, what we did before. So <coughs> what we'll have here oops, hold on a second here, let me zoom out so you can see the light what we'll have near as it, here as it plays is it'll go blue to fully blue, bright blue, then in comes the green, and in comes the red. Okay, now the red is going to fade out. Now the green's going to fade out. And now the blue's going to fade out. So the mirror and repeat is something I, I use quite a bit. You could also do it just on on uh, one channel. So if I just select, say, let me zoom in here so you can see that. If I just select the blue here, right click, tell it mirror and repeat, then what will happen is the light will go blue, green, now the blue is going to completely fade out here and as it fades out the red comes on. So this is a, a very um, nifty little tool. I love VSA and the biggest problem with DMX is number one remembering uh, not to get confused by the fact that VSA starts with address 0 and DMX address to start at 1 so you're always going to have that one offset and then the other thing is making sure you have a terminator and remember that the manuals at least for the lights that I buy from cheaplights.com are not always accurate sometimes the colors are changed sometimes the strobe function uh, has to be on before uh, any color will light and some of them the dimmer has to be on completely so um, that's how it works and if you have any questions just you know shoot me a message